Can you give me a brief outline of what your project is about? Well, we were very happy to receive funding from the community assemblies. Um, it's divided into two parts. Um, this is Your Place, uh, London Limited, which used to be known as Caritas Anchor House on the Barking Road. We want to use half of the funding to refurbish our ground floor and particularly the front of the building. And the second part is used to support our work in supporting young people into employment who are experiencing homelessness. So which activities are you planning and where will you deliver these? We've started a gardening group internally and we're looking to extend that to the front of the building to introduce some hanging baskets and improve the appearance of the building and we're also continuing to support young people into employment through our community partnerships team so the funding is supporting us to do that and we're doing that already so I think um, since January this year we've supported 20 young people into employment. What change do you hope this will make to your neighbourhood? Uh, I think improving the building on the Barking Road is definitely a good thing. Um, and I think also continuing to support our employment work impacts on so many individual lives. So it's the exterior of the building and the individual lives affected as well. So what if I live, work or learn in the area? How can I get involved? We've increased our bed spaces recently from 140 to 220. We work with, we used to work with 278 people, we now work with 416, and we have lots of opportunities for volunteering. So if you were to approach us, we could point you in the right direction. Can you give me a brief outline of what your project is about? Sure, yeah, so we're turning uh, dilapidated, empty, uh, unused garages back into a multi-use functional space uh, for the local community. Uh, by doing so, we also we will also promote a community-based way of sharing resources, um, which we hope will then have a wider impact uh, and a change in the innovation of of how that will how that will run. What activities are you planning, and where will you deliver these? So uh, a space is uh, in the Maypole Estate. Uh, off Vincent Street and we have an action plan now up to May 2023 which is mainly in three, which is in three stages uh, so we're going to improve the infrastructure of the space uh, replacing garage doors, fixing the roof and installing an off-grid lighting and 12 volt system uh, we will also decorate the space to make it visually more attractive and welcoming for the community uh, we will plan local initiatives uh, with the mutual aid hub, repair space potential bike fixing hub uh, and then all throughout this time we're hoping to create the community garden uh, at the end of the space. What change do you hope this will make to your neighbourhoods? Uh, so we hope to help people uh, surviving the cost of living crisis at the moment. Uh, this is by making items useful, accessible and affordable. Um, so as well we hope to uh, reduce alienation uh, and uh, reduce waste. Uh, which can lead to fly tipping in the area uh, and unnecessary pollution from incinerators and contaminated landfill sites. Uh, we, ha we hope to support people in the area who need things the most. So what if I live, work or learn in the area? How can I get involved? Uh, we, we're planning regular work days and uh, these will be until the end of the year, uh, weekly at the moment. And then hopefully after the spring weather arrives we're hoping to have work days on the weekends as well. Uh, and there is also always help needed to promote the project, uh, connecting the dots, uh, for us to find what is needed, what is out there that is, that is needed, and then who needs it. Great, thank you. Can you give me a brief outline of what your project is about? Sure, I'm Tom from Ascension Community Trust. Um, we work to support the community of Custom House, and our project, which we're running with community assemblies, is a community gardening project. Uh, during the pandemic, we recognised the need for access to green space for a whole range of reasons and started a community garden and developed that. Now with Assemblies funding, we're wanting to increase access to that as well as develop local community sites of currently unused green space and develop them into something where 
local people can get involved in gardening, meet other people and build relationships. And we're also um, giving an offer to local schools as well to get involved with gardening workshops. What activities are you planning and where do you uh, plan on delivering them? We have currently been um, consulting and looking around the custom house area to identify a minimum of four sites of green spaces that can be used and developed into a kind of gar community garden area. Uh, we are looking with a local school um, and residents at Wan and Varley Road um, and hope to develop that. And we have a number of others which are under consideration um, to develop. What change do you hope this will make to your neighbourhood? Um, the change we hope uh, to make for our neighbourhoods is one to improve local green space. Um, it's exciting to see some of the changes and developments for parks, but it's also nice to have something on your doorstep that brightens up the local area. Um, purposeful green space has got some great outcomes to do with uh, reducing antisocial behaviour and things like fly tipping, but more importantly, it's a great way to improve well-being, to have hubs where people can connect with each other um, develop gardening skills, kind of have some therapeutic access to nature in the process as well. So that's some of the main outcomes we, we want to see, as well as inspiring young people to develop gardening skills and also feel that even though we're a very urban community, uh, we can still kind of connect with nature and learn about planting and learn about developing green space. What if I live, um, work or learn in the area? How can I get involved? If you want to get in touch with us and get involved, one way is just to go to our website where you can find contact details, that's ascensiontrust.org. Uh, sorry, can I start that again? <laughs> okay. Uh, one way you can get in touch with us and find out how to get involved is to go to our website, which is ascensioncommunitytrust.org. Uh, also, we are based our site on Baxter Road and have the premises in Ascension Church, uh, which is open throughout the week. Uh, so please email or call us or talk to us at any of the events we're running. And there's scope of volunteering in community garden events, developing local green spaces, as well as if it is a young person, um, potentially with local schools, uh, that the offer will go out to local schools um, for young people to be involved in small groups. And finally, we're looking to expand what we're doing, having a regular drop-in on Wednesdays um, at our own um, small community garden sites on Baxter Road. Thank you. A brief outline of what your project is about. So I'm Karen Redgreen and uh, I run Fit to Relax London and my project is called Moving Forward Feeling Balanced and it's a force prevention programme but it's open to anybody in the community but it also incorporates the YMCA, uh, YMCA Lifestyle Management Award um, which is designed to actually help you to change and improve your own lifestyle. Which activities are you planning and where will you deliver these? So I'm delivering a range of activities, including workshops and physical exercise sessions. Um, the first one's going to be at Custom House Library for the, on uh, Saturday the 19th of November. And that's 11 to 1 p.m. and that's a drop-in session to talk about the project, sign up for the award if you want to sign up for the award, and do some of the fitness testing that we would do to actually monitor your progress throughout the, throughout the course of the project. We're also doing uh, Wednesday evenings at Custom House Libraries, a yoga and Pilates inclusive, inclusive class, and that can be chair-based, standing or mat-based, depending on your, uh, your preferences. And then I'm also looking at venues throughout the community, so running sessions at the Custom House Bookshop and other, other venues throughout uh, December and January. What change do you hope this will make to your neighbourhood? So I'm hoping that the um, I'm hoping for ten participants to take part in the lifestyle management award, so that they are actually trained up to actually help their their other people in their own communities. So whether they be carers, whether they're young young people that want to get into what I do in terms of of lifestyle and wellness management and exercise uh, exercise delivery, um, so that they can actually help their own communities to develop and change their lifestyle and change their own health. And then obviously with the Falls Prevention Programme, I want to again encourage people that, that are feeling a little bit unbalanced or that have had a fall or know somebody that's had a fall to be able to manage their own recovery and prevent falls in the future. What if I live, work or learn in the area? How can I get involved? 
it would be great to have at least, I want 10 participants to actually take the Lifestyle Management Award so that they could go out into their own communities and either help with other projects or help with projects come sort of January, February time with mine. So if you want to join up now, you can join up. It takes 12 weeks minimum to do the award, but you can take up to 12 months to do it and you can do it in your own time. There'll be the chance to come to some workshops. Some of the sessions will be held by Zoom and there'll be a lot of one-to-one -one support. So it's very, very flexible. So don't think that you haven't got the time to do it. If you're interested in the, in the award, then get in, get in touch. Can you give me a brief outline of what your project is about? The King's Barber Connect project is a project to engage the young people in the community. We're giving them a life skills, which is barbering. And as a result of the free year course that we're going to deliver, we want to engage these young people, um, give them you know, um, life skills, again, to ensure that we understand their interests and be able to signpost them to the community so whereby they can grow their, uh, you know, their, their interests from there. So which activities are you planning and where will you be delivering them? Okay, um, we'll be... Uh Having the activities in the library, where we'll be engaging stakeholders, different stakeholders are going to be involved, like um, the London Music, the London Fire Brigade, the police community, um, the, the computer club, chess club, different youth activities. So it's going to be held uh, in the library in Cannon Town, and that's going to be the first phase of the project, because we're offering them... 100 free haircut. So in Canning Town area and in Custom House. So what we've done is uh, we've selected five barbershops that are reputable in the community that knows all these young people. They go there every time. So we're going to be using that network to bring all those youth into uh, the event day where we're going to engage them with the haircut. Then while we introduce them to other uh, youth activities from other stakeholders. What change do you hope this will make to your neighbourhood? Yeah, that's a very good question now uh, because I have a son. So how you here is my son, he's 11 years old, he's in year 7. So he was the case study of this project. Why being there? Um, he goes to school by himself now and um, he can do whatever on the street. So I see a lot of street crimes, a lot of predators, trying to groom all those young people. So that is the initial motive of that project. So once we can do this now, and we do subsequent ones, it can curb these street crimes and this predators from stealing our young people from us, we yeah. parents. In addition to that, so we want to see a decline in um, people, young people involved in crimes. We want to create opportunity for the young people, again, yeah. you know, giving them life skills. And we want to see more young people engage in community activities. Yeah. So what if I live, work or learn in the area? How can I get involved? Yeah, um, we, we advise uh, people in the community to support this project and they can get involved and reach out to us through the library. The Custom House Library or the Canning Town Library will be everywhere in the community. And people can actually see us because we are so essential in the community that people have to come to the barbershop or they go to the addresses every weekend. Thank you. Can you give me a brief outline of what your project is about? Um, so my project is called uh, Walk Together. It is, um, the project is about understanding the problem of street safety for women um, in the community, the neighborhood, um, the Custom House County Town neighborhood, as well as um, the larger community, um, and then developing a digital solution that would help uh, women feel safer while walking on the streets. Um, this is the number one priority area for Canning Town Custom House uh, community issues, and uh, it is also a prevalent uh, problem all over the UK, according to a research done by UN Women UK in 2021. Um, and uh, for that, we are developing a digital app that would enable female pedestrians to connect with other verified users around them to form physical groups um, for all or part of their journeys and uh, walk together. 
thus avoid walking alone. Um, and research has found that uh, when you're walking with someone, um, as opposed to alone, you're 30 times um, safer, more likely to be safe. Um, and the control of these connections would always be with the women. Um, there would be other features on this app as well, like real-time safety information, AI-powered route recommendations, um, history of incidents, um, instant connections to 999 or, or your loved ones, sending your live locations to them, um, etc. Which activities are you planning and where will you be delivering them? Um, so, um, the project is uh, basically in four main phases. Um, there's research where we're uh, trying to discover all the different um, aspects of the problem. We're trying to talk to as many women as possible and try to understand what street safety means for them, what their stories um, around it are, and what they would like uh, to see in an app that is developed for their street safety so that they're more open to uh, using that app and, um, uh, you know, um, being, being being on it and using it more often. Um, so far we've surveyed uh, 152 women from all over the world, including the local community. Um, and we have um, interviewed uh, several women in the community. Um, and now we're uh, arranging focus groups uh, to really get into the depth of um, the, the, the problem um, and verify our assumptions, which are whether, we are whether people are willing to work together or not. Um, and also crowdsource ideas for, for further features. Um, the next uh, part would be to um, prototype and test uh, where would we would be designing user journeys and validating the user experiences. Um, in the third part, we will develop the app and add analytics. And then finally, we will uh, beta test and track the performance of the app and keep on improving it over time. What change do you hope this will make to your neighborhoods? Uh, we're hoping for safer streets in Canning Town and Custom House. Uh, we are also hoping for a more connected and consensual community uh, where the community takes the responsibility of keeping each other safe. What if I live, work or learn in the area? How can I get involved? Um, you can get registered with us um, through, if you come to my, uh, my table, I can uh, tell you how to connect with me. Uh, you can get registered with us, join us for our focus groups, give your opinions um, through our online polls and surveys, and you can become a tester with us as well. Can you give me a brief outline of what your project is about? So my project is a youth football kind of camp program where it's... Um, Football sessions, I think two, two sessions a week, it's uh, for age 14 to 19 year olds, just to keep them active, busy, off the streets, uh, in a kind of sporty and physical way. Which activities are you planning and where will you deliver these? So the activities that I'm planning to do are football sessions, like football matches, football tournaments and uh, football practice. This will be at Redlock at E16 2JB or... Royal Victoria Gardens or Power League in Beckton. What change do you hope this will make to your neighbourhood? I hope that this will take a lot of young children off the street. It will give them, keep them busy, give them more opportunity to look forward to things to do. There's not a lot of youth clubs available, so this kind of gives them something to do in their spare time. Keeps them busy, keeps them active, keeps them fit, and uh, it gives them something to enjoy. So what if I live, work or learn in the area? How can I get involved? We've got leaflets around the area that will be posted in libraries, shops, etc. And at the bottom, there's contact information where you can email, call and always drop a message. Uh, and yeah, It's easy to get involved. Thank you.